All right, I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing for a bit. I'll uh, work on. I think I'm working on the uh, little theater thing that I've set up outside. So I'll do a bit of that, and then I'll get to some near Automata later. So yeah. I don't know what to say anymore with, like, the intro stuff, because now, with the whole s simulcast thing, it's like, well, people might be watching on YouTube now. Well, how about this? If you are checking this later, thanks for clicking the video. There we go. It's kind of hard. Okay. I ordered a bunch of stuff, um, in preparation. Haven't had any luck with the blue rose duplicating at all, so we'll see if it's duplicated, but I doubt it. Oh, of course they are. Um, I'll get back to that in a minute. So, Red was in town yesterday, and he had chairs. So now I have two seating options for here. I think I'm still going to go with what I planned originally, but... Man. Yeah, so I got this. It's between this which is a more standard chair. Oh, but see the back of it. Uh, now that I've seen the back of it. That's the one. Yeah, okay. I mean, now looking at the two. I think it's clear. I didn't realize that the back of it had a magazine... Magazine holder? I don't know what they're called. Pretty sure it's just a holder. But I did buy eight of those chairs just in case. So now I have eight of these chairs. But it was too good of an opportunity to kind of let go. I can grab the other stuff. But what I'm going to work on today is pretty much that. It's just... I think I'm going to move this. And just kind of turn this into... That's the theater, and then here... Ticket stand and concession stand, whatever. Like, to get snacks and stuff. I'll probably move this to, like, be a food truck. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. Hang on, is this new? I can never tell with these. <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter now. Okay, uh, keep going. I can't remember if I bought legit artwork from him or not. Anyway, here are all the plush massage chairs. It's 
been a few days, so I have a backlog of things. Okay. Uh, um, I'm just gonna get changed quickly. Just so I look different. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I could go for like a librarian look. All right, that aside. These can be customized. I'll have to check. All oh, right, I picked up one of these. That was the original plan, but I think these look better. I just want to see what I can do with this. I mean, out outside of that, this is now... Now identical. One thing I realized is... I did not plan this, but it kind of came out that way, but... The goat and a ram living next to each other, and now they're kind of running a theme park together. I don't know. It seemed pretty fitting. I kind of realized that after the fact. I was like, oh, wait a minute. But I already have it. Whatever. This is the real one. They're both authentic. I'm not sure I have this one. I know I have that. I mean, either way, I can get both. It's like, fine. It's unlikely this is going to be authentic tomorrow. I'm pretty certain I don't have uh, that one. Oh, it can't be customized. All right, well, that, that answers that. What about this? This has is all the options I would want. I mean, okay, it doesn't do custom pattern, but still. Might have to keep this in mind for other things. Okay. I 
need to get some money out. Uh, you know what? I should probably get a little bit more out. Just in case there's items on sale. Okay. And then after this, I'm going to quickly go check Happy Homes Island, just to make sure. Okay, this is good because I was considering... Oh, I diminished, never mind. I was hoping it would be like the tools that never break. I was considering moving stuff today, but that's nah, fine. I mean, I don't think I need to do this. It's... She doesn't really have that many items she sends you, so... I think I have them all at this point. Okay. Pop into work and just see what recipes on the beach. And also what's in store. I probably should have gone there first, but I forgot. I did find the recipe for the golden toilet, <laughs> so I can make a golden toilet if I want. I still haven't found the golden armor, but it's getting closer now. Oh, there it is. Okay, apparently I didn't have that. Alright. Oh, it's the flower display. Uh, I mean, how much is it? I mean, I can order this myself with normal currency. It's probably not worth it. I can't remember if I have this one, but at least it's cheap, so I'll, I'll get it. I don't think I need to exchange currency anymore. I can't imagine there's going to be an expensive item that I want. Um, okay, I do have an inventory slot. Whoops. 
I, I don't know if that's actually a thing. I mean, carrot cookies, I would understand. They would technically be veggie cookies, but... I don't know, it just doesn't sound appealing. Okay. I'll go put down these chairs and then I'll do the Daily Island thing. Shouldn't take long. Okay. We'll see how I am for time, but I might start the process of cleaning up flowers because most of the houses have been decorated now, with the exception of a couple. I think it's just these two now. It's just kind of at the end. As strange as that might be to say. Okay. These are all the ones. That's drink machine. Should be doing it the other way. Didn't I measure this? I swear there was more room than this. Or am I imagining it? it works. No, you know what? I should be doing this. I should be, yeah. Yeah. Like this. Okay, that's better. for now. I'll work on the side in a bit. I won't need.
Okay. Recipe first, and then Daily Island. see this. I haven't seen this since I made it, so. I mean, it's pretty simple. Oh, he's wearing the pirate outfit for once. I've never seen him wear it. That means, can I get him a pirate hat and he's a pirate clown? Why did it take him this long to wear it? <laughs> Gave him this this outfit like some time last year, and he never wore it. Oh, you're not crafting either. I mean, that was an amusing story. I should have read it, but it was too late. All right. Neither are home. All right, it's probably someone at the north end of town. All right, island first. Oh, you're here. But I'm, I mean, I don't, it's the thing, I don't really have interest in Things she's selling, really. Like, my house is done. I can't imagine she'd be. Ah, uh, maybe the wallpaper would be interesting enough because it would unlock a new fancy wallpaper that I could use in a decoration for a villager, but I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> Just, it takes like 10 minutes to talk to her and get everything. Okay. Nothing special by the looks of it. So I'm just gonna get the recipe and leave. Yeah, there's not even... I'm just thinking, do I want to take some hedges back with me? If there's anything that I'm gonna make today that has hedges involved, I don't think I... Um, but the problem is if I take them with me and don't use them, they're kind of just sitting there. Okay, well that was a disappointment. That's fine. I'll just plant some if I need them. All right, we're done here. Okay. 
I haven't even, uh... ...looked at this month's stuff. That's, that's all done. Let's go sell the recipes. How much money do I have on me? Hang on. Doesn't matter. I have one of these in my pocket. So it's probably not a bad thing to keep in your pocket. Alright. I'm gonna try not to complain about this. <laughs> Every time I have to interact with Sahara, it just kills me. Another small one, and then get a large, and that does it. the other two. I hope this was worth it. No, wrong one, wrong one. I have to start again. Flooring. Okay. Okay. 
I'm done. So what did I even get? Circuit board wall. Green kitchen mat. Parking flooring. Purple mat. Dark chocolate wall. Scramble. Crosswalk. I didn't really get anything worth worthwhile. All right. This is authentic. Is it? It's fake. Damn it. I mean, I can probably use the statue as a decorative piece anyway. It's not exactly bad. Is a duplicate. Okay. It's kind of nice. I guess it would be something to unlock or home options. I know I definitely have that bed. Uh, can't remember if I have this. all the recipes. Not that it matters, like, I could probably just scrap them.
Planting blue flowers must be a pain, but it hasn't happened yet. Maybe I should clone more of these reds. They do seem to work. Okay, that's all sorted. Alright, so... Here lies the hard part. I guess I need to think now on how I want this to look. I'm probably gonna have to move stuff around, just temporarily. Okay, so, I'm going to begin. A lot of this is just going to be for storage sake, it's not that I want to grow more. I'm not even sure I'm going to keep these trees here, it's just, they were here before. definitely hoarding. <laughs> Realistically, I'm not going to use all of this. Hmm. 
Okay. I just want it all out of the way. stuff as well just to clean up. The black roses, I'm just going to go put with the others. Which is just out of sight. Yeah, it's fine. I just want them out of the way. general plan for this area. was going to be a campground originally. So I'm going to try and move towards that. This can go. Like The purpose of that was when there was a bigger mess going on here. Oh, okay. Can I pull this back one? Okay, I can. Um... Oh, stop!
nearly done. first. I don't think I'll be able to fit all of them here. <laughs> we'll see. Even if they have to go on the hill a little bit. Okay. anything like a picnic table, I can't remember. Anyway, it's not important. Okay. I'm going to play this. First, I'm going to move this out of the way. They can live here for now. Well, uh, I'm just going to make sure this is far away enough. I don't know. I don't think it needs to be that far, but I'm just paranoid. Yep, it's still water. All right, cool. I've been stuck on what to put there, but I think 
this for now. It's fine. Probably not a bad idea. I'll leave it for now, but... Okay. Um, how am I gonna work this area? I'm just thinking. I might just leave it open. I don't know if any fencing will really do much of a difference here. I'm gonna go collect the stuff. Not sure about the simple panels, but we'll see. That's fine. I'm probably gonna get rid of it anyway. Nice as that looked, I think the better move is this. If I should do two or one. On. Let's say I do one. But then I'm just thinking of like a layout I can do that'll work. This would work. Okay, hold on. Still work with that, I think.
It's gonna require some changes, but I think it'll work. some panels now. I will have to like lay out more of them, but it's fine. I got plenty. I probably should have ordered. Hang on. I may have still got on them, I can't remember. Sorry, I had one. It's like these podiums. I use them indoors. Or like a study thing. Hang on. Am I blind? try this, but not what I'm looking for. Yeah, okay, I don't have it. Uh, one sec. Thank you. 
probably this way. This is the way to go. And then just get more of them. I might alter the path here a little. I might simplify it. Just to give this more real estate. As nice as this curve is, it's just awkward to work with. And I would get better use of this if this was less awkward. Okay. But we'll leave that for later. What's it called? It's like a study thing. Yeah, these. Exactly this. One, two, three, four. Guys, along here. So then I'm gonna place. I think I'll end up with more seating than I had before, so that'll be cool. Or is it... it might be the same. I don't know. Okay. for parving. Yeah, maybe this will suffice. I think this is fine. In hindsight, I should flip it. This should go, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I should flip it. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay. The truck wouldn't have a way out otherwise. It's just annoying. I have the right idea. It's just not correct. It's all right. The truck needs a way to get out. Yeah, that's better. Set myself up with an easy thumbnail for later. Okay, all good. Thanks for the follow. Sorry, I was caught up in my thinking of what I want to do here. Okay. 
Okay. Um... Oh, I don't really speak French, sorry. But still, if you can understand me. It's fine. It's pretty? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Currently working on setting up a food truck to replace a restaurant that I used to have somewhere else, so we'll see the rest of it soon. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh that and wait, not in the middle. There's a room. Stop. Stop lying. And... The other one. Where'd it go? something for here. The other stuff will come tomorrow. I think I have an idea. I can't remember if I bought it or not. did. Okay. But also... I think I have the upgrade for it. <laughs> I can make those. Okay, I do have it. Cool. I mean, I may as well. Okay, so at the entry. Uh, do I want anything on the road? Should it hang on? Doesn't matter if it's kind of in the way. Okay. Hmm. 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 The only thing I'm looking at now is colors, because the seats are blue and white. This is red. It's not really color coordinated. This isn't really... I think I might have to swap to blue. Hang on, can this be customized? 
I'll take this to halves and see what I can do. The other thing I'm working on, I started doing this and then the restaurant used to be here so I'm gonna replace that with a place where you buy snacks and tickets for this. So that's the end goal of what I'm working on for now. Hoping it can become blue, otherwise, I might have to look for a new pattern for the, the seating. Oh, right, yeah, close it, please. <laughs> It might take me like a good couple of hours, I think, to get this done, but I think it'll look nice. I won't be able to completely finish it. Okay. Uh, alright. Okay, it is available in blue. It's not a dark blue, though. I could do red. Hmm. If I picked red, I'd just have to change the seating, but I'll see how this looks. I might have to be back and forth quite a bit. What else was I gonna do? Oh, I guess this for later. Uh, that and snacks for sure. Oh no, I'm out of money. I need to get more money. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna get a full hundred thousand out. change the flavors, it's just the colors. Probably this one. Uh, what 
else have I got? Yeah, that one's fine. What about... Didn't I buy another one of these? Hmm, guess not. Oh, this. This, this, this. Okay, so it's gonna be sitting with... Just thinking about the other stuff that's going to be sitting with in my head. I think most of it's going to be like a red color, so. I'll place it down so then at least you can see what I am thinking of. Sign. It's okay, but so the idea would be And this is just rough That This one. Okay. This. Then. Stall. might put a fridge there as well, but... Um... This next to here. another counter here, so it's like, one's for tickets and one's for snacks. I'm not sure what I'd put behind this. But, rough idea. I need another touch screen register. I mean, I don't know, maybe having two of those things wouldn't be bad. I'll think about it. Oh yeah, the cotton candy stall. I forgot about that. Um, and popcorn. Yeah, okay. No, no, there, there's enough then. There's enough to put here. Gotta get the popcorn machine and put it here. It'll work. But it's gonna get decorated properly. This is just like loose placement.
Alright. Back to this. Oh. Okay, okay, I mean... I feel like that does fit in better. Um, where's gold samurai suit? I might do... hold on. That looks like it's color coordinated now. Is there another... I don't think there's another spot here. Okay. There's a bamboo separator. I can't remember if it's made out of spring bamboo or what, but I would imagine it's either stone, clay, maybe a mix of iron and then just bamboo. Natural's fine. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, the only awkward thing now is this. Oh, wait, I don't have. So here, it's going to be a, it's going to be a hedge. Yeah, 
trying to go around. All right. Uh, plant. Crap. That's not what I was trying to do. Okay, so that'll go there, and then work backwards. We need to go get some flowers now. I got some of the types that I haven't used much before. This and this. And then I'll just get another black rose. Tell me you want a oh, pinball machine. Sure, I'll take it. That could come in handy. I thought she wanted to buy something. Too lazy. I'm just gonna buy the shovel. We'll grow tomorrow. It'll be fine. Okay, so... That goes there. This goes... Yeah. Okay, hey, Nick, though, how's it going? Did I found the flowers I was looking for? I did, but I still need to duplicate them. It's, I've only gotten one. But I've started working on the finale. This. One, two, one, two. Oh, it'll fit fencing perfectly. Okay. Yeah, I'm just working on a bunch of things at the moment. Um, it's like a food truck. 
I'm gonna get these things that act as counters here. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Like, finally getting there after, like, three, four months of trying to grow stuff. <laughs> Honestly. Gordon Ramsay on the wheels? I don't know. I don't think I've seen Gordon Ramsay do much Asian cooking. I think he did it once and they, uh... Like, the chefs he was training under, like, criticized him. That was non-traditional. Um... They did a food truck in HK. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, and thanks for the follow as well, Rob. Hold up. Let me... I saw I had more of these partitions, but I, I guess not, huh? Alright, it's alright, I'll buy them. The construction workers got salad? What? That's... That's not what I would have picked it for. I mean, the tradies I know, they, they wouldn't eat salad. Unless they were on some kind of diet. Like, lunch for them is usually a sandwich of some sort. Uh, okay. I'm going back and forth on this, but like... Didn't I have a arty lights art? I saw I had one more. I think I need to buy more of those, which means I should probably grind some Nook Miles. I did a Gordon Ramsay kitchen. Oh, that was, yeah, 100%. That was like uh, the original island I did. I did a happy home thing. It wasn't this one, but it's on my other Switch. I guess I don't have it. I must have used them all. Alright, well that's one other thing I gotta buy. More of those. It was this game, just older file. It was the one from 2020. I completely forgot I buried this here. Okay, well, I'm gonna move these trees. I, I need to eat stuff now, because I'm gonna move these trees. Should hopefully be enough. But I want to put one, uh, one of these behind the truck so that it has lighting above it. I've only got two more houses to decorate and then it's kind of just going around the island and cleaning things up and getting rid of a lot of the flowers I have. Because at the moment I just have them, so then I have them. But they're not really doing much. Like, it's just these two houses here that I haven't done anything to. I've redone the interiors of practically all the houses now. This one's fine. Like, this one, the exterior is not going to change too much. I might add some things here and there, but... One next door is too much. I'm just going to kind of put flowers around the island. 
this whole area has been redone. I combined it so then the theme park is combined with this villager who was run who's running a diner. So it's like one big thing now. <laughs> All the random flowers on the beach. And then this house as well, like completely redone. Okay, are you crafting? You are, okay. Damn it, I got that already. Yeah. I think in a couple more weeks I'll be done with this. Yeah, I like the Peacock's house and surroundings. Like this one, I had this picture in my head as to how it was going to look and it worked out more or less. Just trying to give it more of a natural look. Thought it was the male that had the colored feathers. Uh, I think so, yeah. And here, this is where the restaurant used to be. That was anime on the TV. And probably here as well. Because I moved the diner out of here, and I put this here. And now I'm moving this restaurant to be a food truck, and then I'm going to put, like, a concession stand here. With tickets and everything. It's like a theater in front of a, I guess, a bar, tavern thing, I don't know. This one's probably one of my favorite ones. And I redid his house to match as well. He's asleep. But yeah, like... Tiny living and then runs a little prize counter. Yeah, I like this one. This is the kind of stuff I didn't do the first time I played it, which I probably should have. Because I'm good at this stuff, but I guess I just... I wouldn't call it laziness, I was just feeling flat for, uh... Very obvious reasons in 2020. I wasn't feeling too creative. And then I'll just do the thing where people can visit the island when I'm not on it. I can make like a dream of it. But I'm not going to do that until the very, very end. I'm going to re rework the parving here just to give the food truck a bit more space.
Do you got stuff for visiting? I don't know. Maybe. I think it's just so people can visit islands and others don't necessarily have to be online. I haven't messed around with it, to be honest, because it was added after I stopped playing. Well, they're visiting like a dream of it, so it's... They don't get any items for it. It's just... They're browsing it in... I wouldn't say static, but... It's not an island, it's just... They're just roaming an environment, that's all it is. It doesn't alter what I'm doing. But that'll be at the very end. Okay. I need to lift up these trees. does mean this area is going to look a bit more boring with the pathing, but I think having more room for the truck makes more sense. Yeah, it's cool that they added that feature that people can visit islands. That are just stored online. Alright, so pretty much the change I'm going to do, as boring as this might be... ...is just to remove this angle and make it more... more square. but effectively giving the same real estate space. Nah, I mean, that was always gonna happen. We have so many buttons on the controller and we have one button that does like six things. All right, uh, put this back. Although, hold on. I think I need to set this first. The worst is when you're trying to pick up something and then you accidentally pick up a flower. Okay, there we go. Let's just make sure it's all... Yep, all the way in. Gonna make some lunch. Alright, no worries. Enjoy. So this one I'm gonna mimic an idea that they've done here in Melbourne. There's a place where, uh... It's a building with, on top of the building, they've put an old, old train carriages on top of it. So there's like a burger place on the ground floor of the building. You buy a burgers and then you can go up to the roof where these train carriages are and then you sit in an old train carriage and you just eat your burgers overlooking the city. It's kind of neat. But the seating I'm going to put here is, is those train carriage seating, so... That's what I'm going to base it off, more or less. Okay, so I just need to adjust this area. It might take me a minute. Okay. 
correct. I think this is correct. I hope it's correct. But may have to adjust it slightly. doing this. There we go. Alright. Now... Do this. Oh, I don't know. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? I'm not gonna have to move this. Mm, maybe not. I think it might be fine. Okay. So let me now plan this out. I think I have all the seating I need for this one. Let me see. Okay. Oh, I have three. I might be missing one. Uh, I'll get one other random one out just to plan it. And I guess I'll order another one. Uh, what's... Comparable. That's comparable. Okay. So... Let's now... Do this. Not that. I wish you could reorganize your patterns. Maybe you can, and I just haven't figured it out. aesthetic I'm going for. I might not even use this divider. I might use, like... Okay. It depends what halve allows the seats to become. I might bring this truck with me, just so then I can line it all up. Um, I need a type of table. I guess I can get it out at halves. I need to make the food truck match. <laughs> that will 
clean up these flowers eventually. That's pr probably next time I play this, I, I have to clean them up. I just have them all over the place right now because I want to have the colors ready if I want to use them for decorating. And then once I've done everything, then I can kind of just get rid of the ones that I'm not using. I just don't want to go through the process of trying to grow something again. It's too much growing. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. I mean, the ones in Melbourne, they're sort of like this, but not really. They're like a cross between green and blue. Oh, I can use a custom pattern. Okay. Like, I want it to be authentic. They're... Pretty close to this, I would say. Some of the stuff I am basing loosely off stuff near where I live. Yeah, they're like this. That's what we want. That definitely looks like a train carriage thing. So that means I probably have to make the food truck green then. Which is fine. Okay, um... There's a truck. There's a truck. Yeah, that'll work. They may have to order some transit seats through Happy Home or something. At the very least, one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need more than that. Uh, where is the other one? That transit seat. Brown. Custom pattern. Done. There's a place that sells clothing here that the clothing style is just the patterns or the fabric pattern they use on public transport. <laughs> I've been kind of tempted to get one. I don't know. I have a weird sense of humor. Cone? That's a traffic cone. This might be good just for an aesthetic. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Because I was already thinking of using the rough fencing. Okay. Uh, ugh, I've got so much crap on me. Let me put some things away. I need to look into tables as well. Uh, that can go. That can go. I mean, the ramen's... I'll put this away, because I can't really put it down at the moment. Tomorrow, when the other stuff arrives, and I'll, I'll put it back out. 
that I'm gonna place later. That can go. This can go. Probably won't use wood partition. Transit seat, transit seat. Bench can go. Maybe? Let's see what the construction sign has. tables I have. Strawberry Converse, hello. How's it going? What can we do with this? Let me see what we can do with this. It needs to be something that's rough looking. I'll leave this for now. Yeah, I'm just chilling after a day of work. I'm working on my island, slowly making everything look nice. But at the moment, I'm making a food truck. So I'm just setting up items for it. What about yourself? What are you up to? See, hopefully the picture in my head worked. I won't be able to finish it today because I got to order some stuff overnight, but I think the general idea should be there. Just chilling, woke up, appreciating having with a day off from college. Oh, nice. Yeah. Savor it. <laughs> you got much on for the day? I'm just gonna, just gonna chill. Okay. Food truck down. I'm gonna get that rough fencing out as well. I really wanted a situation where I could use it, and I think this is the one. But you can't customize it. What does it become? Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Let me think about this. I have an idea. Alright, so... 
I'm just gonna lay this out roughly. We'll see how we go. So, seating is gonna go this way. Then there'll be a table. I guess I gotta leave a gap, huh, to make this functional. I do want this one to be functional, so let's just... Transit seat. Yep. Wait, you're telling me I can't squeeze in even like this? I mean, I guess as long as it's... Alright, whatever. I have to leave massive gaps otherwise, it just doesn't look right. Okay, let's just stick with that. You gotta go out a bit later shopping and you need to do some work. You skip, but you can put on some heavy rock to help you do that. Yeah, nice. Do you have stuff due soon? Because <laughs> I remember just putting stuff off and then it was like, there were two weeks in particular. It was like the seventh week of the semester and the twelfth where like just everything was due. And then it was just heavy crunch time, just throwing some headphones and just get shit done. Okay, I mean, I think this this layout works. I'm just gonna do two sets of seating and then I'll leave. Hang on. Oh, where would it stop? Trying to figure this out. Okay, it does stop there. And then behind, I could probably throw a tree or something. Alright, that's what I'll do. Because I need to find a, a place for trees, so. I need to order one more of these seats. And then here I'll put something. Um, okay. So let me do... I don't know if this will look good, but there's only one way to find out. That should be enough. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> I am supposed to be customizing. About halfway through second term, believe you're falling behind. You hit the point that you'll do it later means in a week. You need to catch up. It's like burnout in college, but fine at home. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to get through it. Man, my last, my last week. I got no sleep that whole week and just... I remember... Pretty much, I think maybe 20 minutes after I handed in my final assignment, I was done with everything. I just <laughs> felt so sleepy. I fell asleep, and then when I woke up, I was just... I don't think I've ever been that sick, ever. Like, my body realized, okay, you're done. Now, we, we can shut down now. looks okay. Maybe in the daytime I might change my mind, but I think this is fine. And 
and then um, in the middle here, just as part of the look, just put that there and then a plant behind it. So this place is going to be pizza. I'm going to put pizzas here. I can already make some. I can't make all of them, but... Ugh, come on. I'll put a... hedge here. And then tree goes here. Which, to make it match, and because I have plenty of them there. Okay. Cool. Um, to close this off. This one might be a bit trickier to do, but... I guess I should go construction mode. I'll get the and to the up corner. All right. Uh, I did want to try and use the cone as part of it, but I don't know. We'll see. I might just play sidebar. Uh, I'll get a plan out. Or something else, we'll see. Could put a str- uh, I don't know. Probably this one. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Okay. I guess I'll order the other transit seat. Okay. And then I just have to change the pattern on it, which I don't need to go to halves for that. Okay, that'll be placed tomorrow. Let me see what I can book. Pizza-wise. Well... Okay, that one's an easy one. Tiger Prawn. Are these available now? Hang on. Tiger Prawn Animal Crossing. Give me a sec. Uh, New Horizon, Southern Hemisphere, December till March. Okay, they are available. Uh, they are available. Alright, cool. I'll go diving for them. So, I guess I'm making Tiger Prawn Fruit Pizza and this one. I might make a couple of these. Alright, so it's flour, every fruit, 
and then Manila Clam, Pachypron. All right, cool. Seafood pizza sounds pretty bad. You haven't tried? It's not bad. Um, there's like one that they do here that's pretty good. It's all they do is they just put shrimp, uh, pieces of chicken, and then it's like spinach and a hollandaise sauce, and then they put cheese, like a brie cheese on top of it as well. Not bad. It depends what kind of seafood. Like, I think there's others that do more of a marinara one, which has, uh, like, mussels and stuff on it. And, uh, calamari, which it's not that great. But I think the ones that just have, like, one kind of seafood and then mix it with, say, like, a beef or a chicken or bacon, it's pretty good. Also depends if you like seafood. <laughs> if you don't like seafood, yeah, you'll never enjoy the pizza. Okay. Margarita. I mean margarita pizza. I haven't seen that movie in ages. Didn't I have... Oh, here we go. Flour. Um... And then one of every fruit. The fruit pizza is the weird one, but I guess you could do dessert pizza that way. That. 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 And that. What would be the strangest pizza you've had? I think the strangest one that I th th thought was strange, but it apparently isn't. It's like potato and what was it? It was it was like some green on it. I can't remember what it was, but it, it was potato, and it was pretty damn good. Strangest, definitely chicken curry. No kidding. Yeah, I've had some Swedish friends try to, like, convince me of the curry on pizza. Banana curry pizza, specifically. I don't know. I, I can understand it, but I, I just can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm willing to try it. It's just... It was so good, can't find them anymore. I can imagine it would be good. The curry would definitely do it. Small cubes of potato. No, it was like thinly sliced potato. So imagine, you know how you have pepperoni slices and instead of pepperoni slices, it's potato slices. And then it's like in the bechamel sauce. It was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Let's see if I can find... Hang on. Ah, this is the one. Potato, artichoke, and feta. Yep, this was it. Yep, that's what it was. Potato, artichoke, and feta. So, it was, it was pretty decent. I mean, this is not the one I had. It has broccolini instead of artichoke, but conceptually it's similar. Let me get a picture of it. So then you know what you're dealing with. It's like the colors would be identical. It's just, instead of artichoke, they used, um, yeah, it's like this. So... The green would have been artichoke, and then it's just rosemary, potato, a bechamel sauce, and, um, yeah, that was it. Like, wood-fired. It was pretty damn nice. I thought it was strange, because, uh, you know, growing up, it was just <laughs> meat lovers <laughs> to go to and nothing else. But, uh, yeah. 
Well, it's good. The one, I, the one I had had feta, but I've heard that you can do Gruyere as well on it. So just you can substitute it out. Okay, so fruit pizza. This one, we'll make two of them. Or do I even, maybe I could just go the seafood pizza. No, you know what, I have an idea. No, I'll still do the seafood pizza, it's okay. I'm, I'm thinking out loud here. Um, cause, yeah, drinks. Where are the drinks? I'll get a drink out. So one of them will have a pizza and a drink. Um... And yeah, inside the bottle, I'll probably go bottle. And then the other table will have two pizza on it. I think for me when it comes to pizza, it's less ingredients is better. So the ones that I enjoy the most now are typically like three ingredient pizza. Excluding the sauce base and whatnot and the cheese, like the cheese doesn't count, but three ingredient pizza and then it's just, it's good. You love the living room? Oh. Yeah, I should probably show off the house, eh? My idea for the house was like a venue. So I live in the back and I challenged myself to try and make a tiny living space for myself out back and then the rest of the house is going to be a venue, so... I tried to put everything that is required to have a living space in this small room, so... There's a shower, there's a toilet, there's a sink to wash it yourself, study, crafting area, tiny kitchen, place to eat, and yeah, bedroom. Trying to do the most I could with this space. And like any good Australian, air conditioning is a must. And the venue is, well, I use gyroids to act as my bar patron, so. We're kind of hanging out, having conversations. I need more portraits to hang up of the villagers on the wall, but. So this is like the main room. It's just a bar. In here is a kitchen. I've just set up a kitchen. Pretty simple. Upstairs and downstairs are the entertainment rooms, so... Upstairs is live music, and downstairs is a DJ, so this is the live music area. And then there's, of course, another bar behind. It's all more drinks. The gnomes are security, so, you know, they're preventing the gyros from going on stage. Stairs. Yeah, another music 
room, but it's someone at a turntable. And another bar where they have the ability to serve icy drinks if they want. Yeah, the fire, oh, I was pretty happy I found that item. And lastly, like any good venue, you need a bathroom. So, this is my bathroom. With uh, an ATM as well. Yeah, that's it. That is my venue home. But with everything on this island, I've tried to give the villagers an area that suits what they are about. Or have a theme that works with everything and decorate the interior. So. Like here, it's an arcade, right? So then using the redesign features. Hey, Colin, how's it going? I, yeah, made his home just a place where you can redeem the prizes. I still have his, like, living area and everything here. I like this one. Oh, I didn't say hi. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. I suppose that's what I get. Um, yeah, so every villager kind of has that going on for them. They have a house with a particular aesthetic, and then the inside has been done to kind of match that aesthetic. So... Pekko has a tea house. Alice's house is loosely based around what I see on my walks here in Australia. Very loosely, but, you know, it's just a little pond, flowers. I mean, I gotta do more stuff here once I'm done with the flowers, but... I'll show Alice's. I haven't seen Alice's place since I did it. That was my day. Pretty busy, just... Ugh, it's only Wednesday, but I really want it to be the weekend already. Yeah, this is Alice's place. Kinda. Tried to make the kitchen the focus. Yeah, that's right. Air conditioner to work, that's that's it. Australian checks out. Anything fun this weekend? Um probably not. I got I got something that I gotta tend to, which it's like just adult responsibility stuff, more or less. Boring stuff. <laughs> What else? Scoot runs a gym, so Scoot has a gym. I made this place just, I guess, a bit more natural looking. And then Pietro runs an amusement park with Pashmina next door who runs a diner. I just changed the colors of the diner and made it one big thing. Just, yeah, amusement park. The diner. And stalls, which I guess I have to figure out what I'm gonna do here. But. This place sells flowers, it's probably gonna stay that way. That's just to showcase all the flowers. Here, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'll figure it out. And then across the island, there's just little, little builds here and there. Like a resort. The zen area, a little park with an ice cream stall. Yeah, 
Yeah. What else? Fish and chips on the beach. Place to buy fishing supplies. Place to buy seafood. Camping grounds, which are like camping on the beach. Then there's that. I'm gonna set up like a communal camp thing here. And uh, like, I don't know, little mini pool things here. So that's where I'm at, more or less. I have plans for things, but it's like one day at a time. The biggest headache was getting all the hybrids. Just I only just got the blue roses, and that those were my final ones, and I've been growing stuff for like almost four months. Oh, those blue roses. Did I get Lily? Lily of the Valley? Yeah, I have them. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. Alright. <laughs> I got the pizza there. I'll put a fruit pizza and then I'll go get um, the stuff required for marinara. And then tomorrow I can add the other seat. I'll put some flowers here, I think. Maybe just a couple. I don't think I need to put any here. This is just... Yeah, it's okay. The other thing I was thinking of doing, which... I guess to suit the aesthetic of this food truck... I think I have one. Let me see. I'd have to order more, but I do believe I have one. Hang on. It's... It's like a construction sign, but it's to block your path. Yeah, these. The safety barrier. But it wouldn't be because of safety, it's more just to fit the aesthetic of this. So, like, use this as fencing. I'd have to buy a bunch of them, but... If I put this along here, I think it would work. So if I go... I need to figure this out. Yeah, maybe that's enough. But I'd have to buy... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Maybe just five. Yeah. Because that one wouldn't matter too much. I might do that, because looking at it now, I think it would look nice. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go get the shrimp required for the pizza. Okay. I don't need the dinosaur so far. Shrimp pizza? Well, seafood pizza. It has shrimp on the pizza. I mean, I was talking earlier that there's a pizza here that's shrimp, barbecue chicken. Um, then they do, like, a soft cheese on top. So, I think typically it's brie, but you can get camembert. Spinach, and then it's like a hollandaise sauce on drizzle on top. It's kind of nice. Don't think you've ever had shrimp on a pizza. I don't know if it's an Australian thing. I don't think it is. I mean, I know the egg on pizza thing is definitely an Australian thing. I mean, it's an egg drizzle, not like a whole egg. Just so I'm not putting the wrong picture in your head. Oh, the wetsuit's up there. Egg on pizza. Yeah, not a whole egg. It's just an egg drizzle. So, like, the pizza is bacon, onion, ham, and then they do, like, they just beat an egg, right? And then they just drizzle the egg in a spiral around the pizza, so then it cooks. Then you get, like, little pieces of egg. So it's, like, bacon, egg, onion, and ham. 
It's pretty good. But I'll tell you a life hack that I do. Oh, cool. All right, that's a donation thing. So you take a, you take some leftover pizza, right? And then you take a slice the next day, you cook the pizza in a skillet. So then the base gets really crispy. Then you prepare an egg. Have whichever way you want. I usually just go fried, but like, yeah. Get an egg, and then you put it on top, and then you eat it with a knife and fork. And that's breakfast pizza. If you think about it, it's bread, meat, sauce, and egg. It's good. Like, if you want to level up your leftover pizza game, breakfast pizza. Try it. Especially if you do, like, a runny yolk. Oh, man. It's good shit. I think if you've had that, you'll understand, like, why we put egg on pizza. So, seafood pizza with clam, shrimp, octopus are originated from Italy. Can't say I've seen it over there. Yeah, that's typically the seafood pizza here. They... It's like, um... What is it? Mar not marinara, marinero? Whatever it means, like... I can't remember the word. It's similar in Spanish, it just means someone that... ...goes and catches fish. So they have that, but then they have ones where it's just shrimp and... You know what? Hold on. I'll, I'll get you a picture of it. Um, I'm trying to find the one. Hang on. I'm talking about. I'm seeing too many over the top ones. Damn it, I need one that's like gonna sell it to you. Oh, but that's like zucchini. Oh yeah, no, that that's it. Okay, but it's <sighs> I'm trying to sell you on this idea, but people go over the top. And it just doesn't look as visually appealing. Why is it the one that I have is, like, fancy compared to these, and when I don't even get it from, like, a super fancy place? Alright, I might have to settle for this first picture. Okay, I'll settle for this picture. Yeah, it's okay. You'll get the idea. I love how inevitably just it goes to food here more so many times. Okay, so it, it's kind of like this. It's like a variant. This is a small one, a tiny one, mind you, but it usually just has like chicken, a prawn, then some green thing. And sometimes they do like little chunks of tomato as well, but... It's not the greatest picture. I want to find the one that I specifically have, but no one's taken photos of it. It's decent. It's it's worth a try. I don't know. I find it funny that Australian food culture has, like, grown somehow. <laughs> yeah, the, the dough is not a good example. The, the one that I have, it has thin, thin dough. It's, like, thin and crispy. And it's chicken, brie, shrimp. With spinach and then a hollandaise soil. It's great. So 
so yeah. Oh, thank you for the follow as well, Strawberry Combos. See, now I feel like we have to try and watch Food Wars. <laughs> Just talking about Food Wars. It's been recommended it a couple times. That's just because inevitably end up talking about food. I think I'm cursed. Just anytime I start looking for something, it just disappears off the face of the earth. I was going to make time for uh, Nier Automata tonight, but that might get shafted, <laughs> unfortunately. When I'm on a roll designing stuff, it just... It's hard to stop. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Sure. Oh, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you're so cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. A guy made dogs drool by ringing a bell. But so what? Bells make everyone drool. Bells are delicious. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today's a good day. <laughs> he just doesn't run out of them. I, I, I thought I would start seeing repeats, but it still hasn't happened yet. Pascal is funny. I have a cousin that's very similar in demeanor to Pascal. Just when you talk to him, he does stuff like that. Hell's Kitchen Night. Uh, we'll see what time I wrap up, but could do it. And also who's around. Lock up the shrimp. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. This isn't very exciting compared to what I was doing before. I mean, I guess I'm getting stuff for the museum, so it's not a waste of time, but... Oh, that's new. Yeah, I don't know. This always happens. I'm gonna find every single critter except the one I'm looking for. How much more things do I need for the museum? Uh, I'm done with the fossils. The art I'd say is like uh, just over halfway. I don't know about fish. Fish, I think I'm doing okay. I don't think I'm going to finish it, to be honest, because it's just required on... Actually, I'm doing better than I thought. Hmm. Okay. The problem is I know where it's going to go wrong. It's... It's a dung beetle. Because that's in winter, and I just don't see myself playing this all the way until winter, because I'm almost done. Please don't find a snow crab, they're horrifying. Is it because it looks like a spider? Do you have arachnophobia? It's understandable. The sad thing about the dung beetle is even if I visit an island that has winter, they don't appear. They only ap appear when it's winter on your island and it's single pl player like it's I think the one creature that doesn't appear in multiplayer so that's the thing in my, on my other island on my other switch my old switch that's what ended up happening 
I, I think that was the only thing I was missing. And I was like, okay, I'll go back in winter, boot it up, and just get it. And I just didn't do it last year. Or the year before. <laughs> it's, I forget. But also, if I do, the animals will just guilt trip me. It's just... Oh, hey, we used to have someone that looked a lot like you that used to live here. I wonder what happened to them. I think this game is very cozy, but just sometimes the way the villagers guilt you. Particularly when they run up to you and they're like, Hey, can I buy that thing off you? The thing that you're holding in your pockets and you say no, they just... I don't know. Not all of them. Some of them are polite, but then others do a little bit of a guilt routine. And I thought that was weird that they did that, but ever since that happened to me in real life, I, I excuse it a lot more. It's now, well, yeah, it does happen. And sell it for three times the price. I'll try to buy it off you cheap. I won't get over... When I bought that samurai sword that was like 90,000 bells and then the villager came up and asked me if they could buy it for 900. And then another one wanted to trade it for... What was it? It was some like really insignificant item. That was not worth that amount. But nothing will compare to Colton in New Leaf, who scammed me. Alright. Let's learn about the abalone. Yep. My feathers, the abalone is a most deceptive sea snail. After seeing its dull brown shell from the outside, one would think it is quite plain. But take a gander inside and you'll see that the abalone's home is a shimmering beauty to behold. The inner layer of the shell is made out of nacre, or mother of pearl, and who, what a dazzling iridescent hue. Let this be a lesson. You mustn't judge a sea snail by the outside of its shell. Judge it by the inside of its shell instead. They have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Okay. How did Colton scam me? And so Colton walked up to me and said, Hey, Will. I have this, this thing. Would you like to pay three times the amount I paid for it? I'm paraphrasing, but the words three times the amount I paid for it definitely came out. So in my mind, I was like, why would he be asking me that? Unless if I say yes, he might be like, oh, just kidding. Or if I say yes, he might be like, oh, I feel bad. Here, have this other item as well for your troubles. That's what I thought he was going to do. But instead, when I said yes, he said, oh, wow. I can't believe you were going to pay me that. Okay. And then he took my money. And then he brought fleas to the town three times <laughs> in a row. So I had to quarantine Colton. Well, I didn't have to, but just out of spite, I, I quarantined him. Oh, wow, I can't believe you'd be willing to pay me three times the amount. I didn't think you'd do that. All right, give me the money. Scam artist. Marine flatworms are, well, flat and worm-like, as their name suggests. But while this sea creature is said to be quite simple, it does possess some rather remarkable powers. You see, when flatworms are injured, they grow new body parts with ease. And when a flatworm is cut in half, each side can grow a whole new flatworm of its own. Oh, wow. Most impressive of all, some flatworms can clone themselves without suffering a single cut. 
Ah, finally, I too could safely divide myself in two. Imagine all the work I could do. Let's assure all donations are displayed in a timely manner. Okay. Wait, good thing we have me? What? Good thing you have me? Why? Yeah, I mean, the HK stuff is, like, on Discord, because, you know, there's there's a uh, there's a word that starts with the letter D, has an M and a C and an A in it, that is no bueno. Even though it just comes off YouTube, it's, like, it's still not allowed. Um, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts? Yes. Some would say it's good luck to catch a horseshoe crab, but I am not among them. They're called a crab, this beast is an anthropod, and thus more akin to spiders or scorpions. Oh. Its long tail resembles a scorpion singer. In fact, though it's quite harmless, they say. A living fossil, the horseshoe crab has been around for... Wait, since before the dinosaurs? Wow. With a tank-like shell, I suppose it would be one to survive. But here's what truly rattles me to my beak. During breeding season, horseshoe crabs crawl up on the beach and make nests together in the hundreds. Hundreds of horseshoe crabs! And with that, I can say no more. Huh. Yeah, that one was interesting. Because I know there are things there's bit that have been around since the age of dinosaurs, like, you know, crocodiles and gators are one of those that have been around just a long time. Don't have Discord? Ah, uh, that's alright. Oh crap, the store's closed. I mean, it's up to you. Like, it's pretty easy to get an account. You can use your web browser. It doesn't have to be, like, an app you install on your phone. But also, it lets me get out of this chair and be more comfortable. Because, <laughs> as nice as it is, when I, when I watch stuff, I want to be comfortable. I mean, I guess I'll put these critters away. I don't know. Yeah, oh wow, it really is 11pm, okay. Um, I still want to find this, so I'll, I'll look. Yeah, I mean, we're watching the earlier seasons, because I haven't seen it before. I've been aware of it, and we just wrapped up season two, so we're going to start three. But, I don't know, it's just, there's just something about... That show that... I'm not one for reality shows, but there's just something about that show that gets me. <laughs> okay. Back into the ocean! Let me finish the build. I think... Near Automata, again, is just probably going to get shafted. On the topic of, like, abalones, there's a place here that does... They do abalone sandwiches, but, like, in the style of katsu. So, like, it does the whole katsu breading, and the way they cook it is kind of unbelievable. It tastes... The texture is like very much like chicken. It's it's kind of crazy. And save near for the weekend. That could do. Let's see how we go. I mean, it's kind of at a good point in near anyway because uh, I've wrapped up the second arc playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Alright. <laughs> Give me a 
give me a tiger. Tiger shrimp, whatever it's called. Just get. I just. That's all I need. Just please. I want to make my seafood pizza and be done with this. Um, I'm going to just very quickly. Tiger prawn. 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. December to March in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, I'm. Um, <laughs> let me check in game. Because the wiki for the Southern Hemisphere has been very inconsistent and sometimes have has led me astray. Okay, so it is available. Yes, please manifest me a shrimp. That one's definitely not a shrimp. I should probably not go for... I should only go for the small ones. But I've wanted to finish Nier Automata so then I can kind of move on to the, the next games. There it is! <laughs> Do I need one or two? And just need to go get a manila clam now. Okay, it's only one. Good. Alright, let me go. Good work. Thank you for the manifest. Speaking of Warrior, the next game I'm going to play is like the final Warrior game that I haven't played. The one on the on the DS, so. Because I want to make a video about it. How I just miss that series and the games that are taking its place, like Pizza Tower and Anton Blast. So, I just got to play that game so then I have all the footage I need. I think I- oh, okay, I've, I've strayed too far. I was trying to find the shore. Good enough. Um, I don't know if anyone has an outdoor kitchen. There used, there used to be one here, but I got rid of it. Hmm, maybe for the sake of convenience, I should put an outdoor kitchen some- Oh, wait, here. Aha! Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, oh wait, Manila Climb. Manila Climb first. Manila Climb first. Forgot about Manila Climb. Now I can make the pizza. It's also not too long before there's like some new Nintendo games coming out, so I gotta make time for those. I think the next one to come out is the Mario vs. Donkey Kong game, which I like those games, but I'm not 100% positive that I'm going to look at that one right away. The Princess Page one, definitely, because that one looks interesting. 
But that's in March, I think. Okay, there we go. Seafood pizza. And take this as far as I can take it. Daughter asked if you can leave a note to the Easter Bunny asking for the Peach game. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Have I played Wonder? I have played Wonder. Yeah, that was fun. Wonder just made me feel like I used to feel when I played Super Mario World as a kid. Breaking her heart? I mean... It's reality. The Easter Bunny is supposed to... It's supposed to be about eggs, right? Not presents. Uh, what should I place down? I guess that. That'll do. I mean, I'm expecting some big Mario game to get announced this year. It's just... It's been a while since Odyssey. So we'll see. But, um, in terms of Mario games, I... Don't quote me on it, because I'm not sure. It's one of these things that, in in spirit, I want to do this, but in practice is like, well, it depends on timing. But I haven't played Mario Galaxy 2, and I have a copy of it, and I do want to play it. It's just... It depends how I am with other games. That's all. Because I've got a bunch of other games that I need to get through. I got gifted a bunch of games for my birthday, so... I gotta make an effort to play them. So, yeah, it's like. There's, there's a bit. Um. Okay, what am I missing here? I'm ne I need to go to Happy Home just briefly. I don't know if it'll necessarily be Odyssey 2. They might go with something completely new. A peach flavored egg, that's a good that's a good way to get out of it. <laughs> like it technically you technically gave peach. Okay, I need to go order I'm gonna order the uh safety barricades through that. So then I'll have them tomorrow as well. At the very least, I'm hoping that Metroid Prime 4 will be the launch title for the new console, whatever it might be. Because I think that's the only major, major game that is still up in the air. Everything else is relatively minor, or it's like a remake or a re release. The only new game is the Peach game. And that's not like. Gigantic in scope, by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, see, this is what I don't get. When they did this feature, why didn't they add it to the rest of the game? This is so nice to be able to just do this. Wait, I don't have it? Hmm. 
What was it called? I think it has the word construction on it. Maybe it doesn't have the word sign. Or it might have been hazard? Hang on. I don't, I'm terrible with names. Hazard? I'll look it up otherwise. Ugh. Hazard? No, what, what was it called? <laughs> I don't remember what it was called. Um. Ugh, it sucks that I can't search here. Hang on, C. Construction scaffolding, it's not that. It's either hazard or safety. H. It's not hazard. It's gonna be the one word I don't look up. Safety barrier. Okay. <laughs> there it is. My bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not Wendell's Wardle. It's, cl it's close. Barrier. What? It was safety barrier, wasn't it? Well, don't tell me I can't buy it through this. But I thought it added everything... That, oh, but maybe to the... Uh, it might not be available here. I guess I'm gonna have to get it through normal means. No, safety... I got safety railing, but not safety barrier. Oh, oh well. Alright, I'm just gonna have to order it. Did we color eggs as a kid? Uh, I have very minimal memories of it, but we did. I don't remember it much. It was like pretty early on in school. It's like memory is blurry on that one, but we did do it. Very, very blurry on it. Footage not found. <laughs> no, I mean, we, we, we do it in Australia, so it, it's not just a US thing. I don't know if they still do it now. I'd have to ask, like, my brother if my niece does it. Oh man, it's struggling with my island. You can see it trying to load things sometimes. Okay, well, I can't order this railing. I'll order the rest of it tomorrow then. I um, think this is all I wanted to do here. Alright, so... <laughs> I've moved what I needed to move. So the last thing I'm going to do for today... Is set this up. I can't finish it, but I'll at the very least set it up, so bear with. Is this the same color? I can't tell. Hmm, it might be different. I think it's dark brown. I may have to take a visit to Harbs. Alright, anyway. Pack all this away. I guess if I'm going to Harbs. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so here... Shit. <laughs> I'm out of room again. Get 
so weird. I don't really remember much of the Easter stuff. I know we definitely did egg painting. Because it was one of those things that was just a way to keep the kids busy. Oh, Discord is free, yeah. Whoever told, like, whoever told you it isn't free doesn't understand. Discord is free to use, but you have the option of subscribing to it to get extra features, like fancy avatars, more upload limits on your files, um, or if you want to, like, support a server that you're on, you can also... Use your subscription to give that server more features. So that's what the premium Discord does. But to just use it, it's it's completely free. Yeah. Can you pay for it? Sure. But you don't have to. Most people don't. I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of this. I might keep the path in the middle like that. Yeah, I mean, premium... I think... It's just, if you use it a lot, it's kind of worth it because you get better quality audio calls and you do get, like, the fancy stuff for it. And if you're sending files on it, it's, it's worth it. But otherwise, just to use it, it's, yeah, it's nothing. Audio calls. The audio calls are free. But the premium does give you, like, better quality audio calls if you do them one-to-one. -one. But on, at, on servers, it's different, because when you join a server and you do a call through the server, like, if the server has premium, then you get the premium feature through that. Which is the case with ours. Yeah, I mean, the watches are muted, but I can set it so it's not the case. I mean, Lelo is not muted. And I think anyone that has the VIP state can technically talk if they want to. But, generally speaking, we kind of just... I, I do the talking. It's almost like a, a stream. I don't mind. It's more laid back. There's no pressure or anything there. It's just... It's separate. Yeah, some, some viewers can unmute. Sometimes accidentally. It's not weird, it's just, it's a preference, it's fine. Okay, let's go to halves quickly. Yeah, there's nothing big over there. It's a small server. It's just the regulars, that's it. Not really a whole lot goes on there outside of like the times where we're like, okay, let's do something. This is Harv's Island. One more time. I need to make... I need to make it look like it's a concession stand. Oh, 
Okay. I'm happy with what I've done today. I think tomorrow will look better once I have the rest of the items. Okay, uh, so what? Brown and it was wood. Yep. This might take me a minute. Uh. Nah, okay. I'm hoping whatever they do next with this game, they just let us have more patterns. It's just... There's, there's not enough. I could have gotten... I mean, I guess that's the thing, is... Because it's restricted, I have to get creative in some ways, but at the same time, I could be way more creative if there was more... more uh, patterns I could use. At least in terms of just doing stuff with a simple panel. It's the most useful item in this game for decorating. Yeah, this would only take, I don't know, another five minutes. <laughs> I like this game, but sometimes I wish I could just do things in bulk. Resin drink machine is done. Cotton candy stall, stall. Okay, the stall. This is what I need to design now. I mean... Probably that. Cyrus was your fave in New Leaf. I found Cyrus' behavior really strange in New Leaf. Because I, I played New Leaf afterwards, right? This was my first Animal Crossing game, and then because people were talking about New Leaf, I went to check out New Leaf, and I found it crazy that... I think the first interaction with him, if you talk to him, he talks about, like, are you looking at my wife? It's like, no, dude, what? <laughs> Just really defensive. I forgot what he said, but it was, it was super defensive. What looks like it belongs in a theater? I kind of like that. We'll go with that. That looks fine. Yeah. But the fact that he was asleep for the longest time was funny. I like New Leaf, what's going on in New Leaf more, but the customization in New Horizons is just so much better. So whatever they do next, it just needs to be a mix of both games. Just have all the customization features from this one, but then the activities and everything else make it New Leaf. Homewreck, I didn't do anything. I went to their place of business and was inquiring about their services. It's not my fault he has insecurity. Misplaced insecurity. Oh, you can customize this. Yeah, we'll go with silver. Else is making the googly eyes of his life. If you mean goog if by googly eyes you mean existing, then sure. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think there is one that's snack based. Um, oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That could work. Okay, uh, what else was I getting? I have a popcorn machine. Oh no, he's closed up. That's, but what, hang on, what do you, what do you mean? What, why? What is this? <laughs> it would make sense if all of them were closed. But they're not. So why do they close him up? It's he's storage. Okay. I guess let's just hope the popcorn machine is the correct color. Red is also a scammer. I mean, Red is either someone that knows what they're doing or someone that doesn't know what they're doing. You can see it two ways. You could see it that Red knows that he's selling fake art. Or it could be that Red is genuinely innocent and is a dummy. <laughs> and is just buying, is being supplied with fake art and he doesn't know that it's fake. So. I think he's a scam artist, but there's always that angle where he's just not very smart. Put that away. That's so bizarre. Like, well... All Tortima does is let you get things out of storage. Like, what's the harm in leaving him open? Anyway, let's just forget about that. Okay, good. Good, I have, I have the right one. All right, cool. So I'll, I'll just set up the basics of it. But I'll refine it tomorrow. Okay, that's correct. Uh oh, I may not have done all the panels. <laughs> I'm missing two. Okay, look, that's fine. I can go get them. That's not a big deal. Alright, so. Let me just set this up again. I forgot how I did it. It was like. Stall. was like right next to it. Okay, and then this arrangement, I don't remember.
Okay, now I think it needs to go down one more. Yep. Okay, so here. Um, what was it? It was like frozen drink machine. I think I put the vending machine away. No, drink machine is here. Like this. Okay, I do remember. Then. Am I missing one? Cotton candy stall. Oops. Am I missing one? What did I have here before? And then popcorn here. I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, this is gonna bother me. I thought I had it perfect, so then those it went from end to end. Okay, it doesn't matter. Just guess, just do this for now. That's fine. Um, capture just the number one. It's gone the wrong way. Okay. Uh, I just need two more simple panels. I'll have a look what else I have, but... I think I'm done. <laughs> For now. Tomorrow. I'll put more seating and stuff there. Uh, get something out. Let me have a look. What? Did I put something away by accident? I have another one of these, but I don't think that'll really do much. Okay, I need two simple panels. I may have to get more of these to look like movie posters. I'll see if there's one that looks like a movie poster. Uh... Yeah, I guess not. I don't see anything that I would have put away. Oh, here we go. Definitely need to take that out. Uh, another register. Maybe I'm imagining it. Alright, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just go to Hops <laughs> one more time. Because he didn't let me take this out over there. It's just one more trip to Hops and then I'm good. Sorry. That's such a weird choice, not having Tortima be open all the time. It would make sense if all of them were closed and I could at least respect it. It'd be like, okay, the whole the whole thing is closed. It's past 11 o'clock. Fair enough. But red is still open. And you can still customize stuff, so why not have storage still be open? Okay. Ugh, 
man, all this food talk made me hungry. Okay, I have snacks. Okay, last two. So, that and that. Done. Someone whisper, okay. <laughs> not here. I hope not. That means someone's in the house. Just decided to walk up to the mic and whisper something. I already did that. Uh. I mean, maybe having two of these isn't a bad thing. Alright. Oh, I just- I just thought of something. I just- I just thought of something important. <laughs> I don't think I can whisper into this mic. I think it wouldn't pick it up. Like, if I just go- I don't know if it picked it up. And there's something I can order through Happy Home. That will serve. You heard it? Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I haven't really tested the mic out. It's a good. It's a good mic. You heard hey? I, I said okay. I said okay. So you probably just got the hey part. It's probably just because I, I had to do the noise reduction thing, so it's just clipping it. <sighs> Alright, uh... Sorry, Wardle. Like the third time I've been back, but box was the stool. There's a stool that I want. Boxy stool. And we will go with red. One, two, three, four, five. I might need to order one more, but this will be this. Because the, they usually have like a waiting area in the lobby. So that's what I'm going to create with these stools. I might just line them up in a straight line and go with five, but. I have that for tomorrow. I may not have been able to order the... the hazard barrier or whatever it was called. <laughs> the safety barrier, but I got this instead. Okay, we're nearly done. I just have to port this stuff down. Oh, I know something else I need to order. Okay, so, one sec. I wish there was an easier way to move stuff. 
Just a massive puzzle. <laughs> There's room, stop it. Challenge the player? I don't think it's a challenge. Inconvenience the player? Slow the gameplay down enough. I'd say it's more about slowing the gameplay down than inconveniencing. Like, they're not trying to be annoying. It's just fitting the pacing of the rest of the game. That being said, there are other chill games that let you do mass crafting. There we go. Alright, and then the seating will go here. I'll put some box seating. I might continue the cube light thing along here. So then that's all nice, right? But yeah, tickets and concession stand. I'll put a ticket here. Yeah. Alright, cool. I like it. Yeah, I like using the cube lights. They're, they're pretty fun. It's funny because I had so many of them. But I had a plan the whole time. I bought like, I think... 40 of them at one point, so. But now you know. Trust the system. Trust the process. Okay. Um, I'll get that out, just to be safe. Yeah, I think they have a good ambience to them. The lighting is neat. Before I forget ambience, the topic of that. Uh, what I want is, where is it? This. I'm gonna have to get more Nook Miles, because I want a few of these. But these are gonna go behind the food Ooh, well, one of the food trucks. And then I have a thousand for the Daily Island tomorrow. Okay. That worked out. <laughs> Hooray for math. surprised. Okay. Uh, alright. Cube lights. We want. Yellow. I may have gotten like a couple extras, but it's okay. Orange. Yellow. Saying it out loud so I don't lose track. It's like almost midnight. <laughs> so, this is less about trying to fill in a gap in terms of speaking and more me keeping track of like which one I am supposed to be picking. 
Okay. Oh, and this sign can go. It's no longer. Uh, hold on. Okay, it's correct. Oh, why? <laughs> That's not. How was that? Sometimes it just it tries to be too clever. Tries to guess what I'm trying to do. That's kind of good timing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, I don't know if I even need to put box seating here. I, I did buy them, but maybe it's not even necessary. It might be fine just like this. I don't know. I'll think about it more. Well, it's okay. Like, I'm done anyway. <laughs> it's been several hours. It's I, I only wanted to just do one thing today, but then, like, was kind of on a roll in terms of what... I wanted to do so. I just kept going and now have most of the food truck area going. Uh, yeah, that's how it is. When when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. It's not done, but I like this aesthetic. Just taking inspiration from like a place here in Melbourne, but the place is a burger place. So, it's cool. I like it. And then moving this place. Uh, tomorrow there's going to be stalls that'll come in, and then I'll put ramen on each one. So it's like a ramen shop. It'll look it'll look nice. I'm not sure about the statue. The statue I might ditch, and because I'm going to get a light arc and put it here, but I might put another one there. Because so. you can't really see it. It's not really contributing much. I just wanted to make it, so I will probably get rid of it. But it looks nice. It'll look better once the rest of this is done. There'll be a couple more days. Alright. Well, you saw the battery notification. <laughs> it's time. But also, natural stopping point. So... Okay, that was a bit of a long one. Sorry that Nier Automata is going to get shafted, but for those that have been around for Nier Automata, <laughs> it should come as no surprise that it just it happens. The th I just want to dedicate good enough time to that game, that's all. And it's just sometimes I go overboard with this one. But I will definitely make time for it over the next couple of days. Just Today was one of those days where I was just chilling, and yeah, it was good. Uh, alright. Well, anyway, hope you all enjoyed the, uh, Animal Crossing stream today. Yeah, it's always fun to play this. Getting closer to the end of this. Just one by one, the houses are being done. If you are checking this out later on YouTube as a replay, thanks for watching as well. If you want to support any other content over there, be it the live stream, because this does get simulcast now, or any of the other channels, easiest way to do so is just hit the like button, subscribe, whatever YouTubers usually tell you to do. I don't even know what to say. Succinct enough. <laughs> but thank you to those that do any of that stuff. It does help out a lot, and it means a lot, so appreciate you for that. But we'll do uh, more of this soon. 